white man lie. came to me so so this is what I be feeling like that's why I left the church church when I when I came to them trying to find out about what I what I had experienced nobody either it's too basically that's what they said that God don't want you to know everything I'm like man these motherfuckers coming to people they coming to people you seeing them in the sky you know what I'm saying it's undeniable but our, our yes, people sir. don't know nothing about it my name's Julius Julius yeah you died bro let me let me let me show you something real quick number one give me Acts chapter one because the brothers brought it to you, right? It yeah. says that uh, it says a good understanding have all that to do his commandments, right? In Psalms 111 and 10. All right, so there's no profit in us going into church with you. But then when Christ comes, you still get put to death. You know what I'm saying? Because I said there's no profit in you learning about UFOs. You got really cherish right vehicles, angelic vehicles. You want to say that? Right. Now, what profit you for you to learn everything, every scripture about chariots that we know, and then when Christ returns, for him to drag you in chains and then kill you in front of the holy angels? I, I hear you, but this is what I'm saying. I, I got, I got what you're saying. Yeah. I hear what I, I hear what you're saying. What I'm saying is, they close. Like this is shit that I see all the time. We see and I know people. Swell, bro. I see people that see it all the time. Huh? And, and NASA, I, I, I would assume y'all know what time it is with NASA, what they on, what they've been saying in the past week. So basically, we about to see, we about to see what Revelation and them said. What people gonna fall faint and hard real soon, probably this year. And our people don't even believe that Jesus is black, and they, they don't even respect the Bible no more. But it's like nobody putting that together. Right. Like you see what I'm saying? Our people so. Our people basically think that, like, that's why I like y'all. They think that this is some white stuff. Right. That's what's been put out there, so they don't even want to hear nothing about Jesus. Like most young cats, you they think it's a Jesus, joke. Bro. Right, you, you're right. So, this is what said, Julius, right? Yeah. Okay, listen, drop that. Give me 2 Peter 3. Start at verse uh, 9. 2 Peter 3 and 9. 2 Peter 3 and 9. Because I'm going to deal with you to a certain degree. I ain't going to get too deep into it, you know what I mean? Because we out here to teach nationality, because today the 12 tribes don't know who they are. And we out here to teach God's laws, because that's the reason why we don't know who we are, because we broke God's laws and God allowed us to be afflicted. Have our name is beaten from us. How have our heritage stripped from us. Our land stripped from us. Right. Because we broke God's laws. It was not, it, it was not because we didn't understand charities, because the charities have always dealt with people before that. Nah, that ain't where I'm going, no, though, bro. We ain't listening to no, I hear what you're saying about NASA and about them revealing stuff to you. You're about to what the Bible says. Oh, that's garbage. They're going to tell you what they want you to know anyway. I read this. Don't never set your hope in man, brother. Listen Yo, to that. Second Peter. Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 9. I'm not just going to get you. Hey. Listen to what God said. Read that, bro. Listen, bro. Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. So, everybody been saying, you know what? They've been saying the Messiah is coming back for a long time now. The Bible says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Read on. As some men count slackness. You got scoffers out here in the last days who say, okay, well, where he at? Where he been at? Read on, folks. But his long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish. The reason why Christ has not cracked the sky yet, because he is not willing that any of the twelve tribes should perish. That's right. Read on. But that all should come to repentance. He says, but that all should come to repentance. Read on. But the day, but but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. It says the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Read. And in that which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. What can make a great noise in these last days? What can make a great noise? An earthquake? No, earthquake, the ground shakes. What can make a great noise? An intercontinental ballistic missile. A nuclear bomb. What can make a great noise? Okay. That's what the Bible is referring to. Okay. When Christ returns, it shall be after the bomb drops. Agreed. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. You say the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Real. The earth also and the works that are within shall be burned up. It's saying the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. This is talking about the second coming of the Messiah. You want to say, give me Psalms 68, verse 17. Because Christ is not coming solo dolo, brother. That's what I'm saying. 
they done, I've seen it. I ain't, right. I ain't just read it, so I'm right. with I'm with y'all, but I'm saying you look at that man who say shirt is, on, on the regular. Quick, bro, let me talk. Go ahead. What I'm saying is I feel like and it ain't about y'all. Right. Feel me? I feel like whatever you the, the, the speakers of the truth is is not connecting these dots, and I feel like the time, I think it's any day that the, what you talking about is about to happen based off of what I done seen and uh -huh. what I done researched. And it's like people walking around, like this shit is over. Right. You feel me? That's where I'm at. Like, I'm preparing for it to be over. I'm not preparing for no 2020 and all that shit. Like, uh -huh. this, this is any day now that bomb gonna get dropped. Right, what's your no solution for what your they, right. what's, what's your solution, what's the solution? for I'm your getting, people? I'm getting ready for what's about to happen. If the Lord don't, if the chariot don't take me, if I don't get to get pulled up, I'm getting ready for this fight that's about to be down here. Give me Revelation 7 verse 1. Let me show you the solution. You see, because it's one thing to know what's coming. You know what I'm saying? We know the bomb is coming. I got saved for them coming out with nine, so I don't You're not saved, but we'll deal with that in a second. But let's deal with the solution according to the Bible. Okay. Revelation, Revelation chapter 7 verse 1. And after these things, I show forth angels. So forth angels standing read, on the top, read it slow, brother. Calm down. And after these things, uh -huh. I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Read on. Holding the four winds of the earth. Holding the four winds of the earth. Talking about the destruction that is coming. Give me verse four now. Uh, uh, chapter seven, verse four. Read. And I heard the number of them. Start at verse three first. Verse three. Huh? Verse three said. So you just read that it was four angels holding back the winds, right? Going to the destruction. The bomb is going to drop. Verse three. Saying, verse three, saying, hurt not the earth. God told the angels, commanded the angels, don't let the destruction come yet. Read. Neither the sea, huh? nor the tree. So let don't let anything get destroyed yet, read. Till we have sealed the service of our God in their Forehead. It says until we have sealed the servants, the 12 tribes of Israel are God's servants. Right, that's Let's right. That. Give me Isaiah 44 and verse 21. It says until we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. That's the solution from being saved from the destruction, being sealed in your forehead. Okay. So now, okay. Brother okay. Julius, you gotta wait now. Okay. Because right now we got to read the Bible to you. Too. No. Feel me? I haven't even got to prove my point. I don't speak out of my mouth. I speak this Bible. Read this. 21. 21. Let's see what the service is. Is that a kind? Wait. Isn't that Isaiah a kind? chapter 44. Oh, going to that right now? Verse 21. This. Remember this, O Jacob and Israel. It says, Remember this, O Jacob and Israel. Read. For thou art my servant. For what? For thou art my servant. Read it from the top, because you know we got a short attention span. Remember this. Oh, Jacob oh, and Jacob. Israel. Jacob and Israel is the same exact thing. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Read. Oh, Jacob and Israel, uh -huh. for thou art my servant. It said, for thou art my servant. So it said, don't hurt the earth yet. Don't let the destruction come yet. Don't let Christ come back yet until we have sealed the service of God, the Israelites, Jacob, in their foreheads. So now, what does that mean to be sealed in your forehead? Isaiah 8, verse 16 now. Nine. Yeah, let's deal with Where that. Where you at? Isaiah 8. Nine. Let's deal with being sealed. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 16. What is Julius? You with us, right? Yeah, we Okay, let's find out how. Because it said, tell right here. The servants, which are the Israelites, don't hurt the earth yet. Don't let the destruction come yet, so they are sealed in their foreheads. Read this. Bind up the testimony. Call, call out where you at. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 16. In Isaiah, the 8th chapter, the 16th verse, read. Bind up. The testimony. God said, bind up the testimony. The things written in this Bible. Read. Seal the law. Do what? Seal the law. Seal the law. Read. Among thy disciples. It said, seal the law. The seal that should be in our forehead is God's law. That's brother, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Christ is coming back looking for a people. When Christ returns with the thousands upon thousands of chariots, known in America and this Western world as UFOs, you know what I'm saying? He is looking for the two of Israel who are keeping God's laws. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how you shall be in that in that so-called rapture. The rapture is for the torch out of Israel to keep God's commandments. Right. Let's read about that. Give me that Revelation 11. 11. Yeah, give, give me verse 13. 11, 13. The rapture is not for the heathen. The rapture is not for the white man. The rapture is not for the Chinese man. The rapture is for God's servants, the torch tribes of Israel, who are sealed with God's laws according to Isaiah 8. That's what the, the, the UFOs don't keep the laws and who are not. I know, they watch. Revelation chapter 11, verse 13. And the same, 
Yeah, read that. 13. Yeah, read that. Re uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 13. And the same hour was there a great earthquake. So it says in the same hour there was a great earthquake from the destruction. And the tenth part of the city fell. Uh -huh. And in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000. Uh -huh. And the remnant were affrighted. Read verse 12. Verse 12, uh -huh. and they heard a great noise from heaven. They heard a what? A great noise from heaven. A noise or a voice? A noise. No, don't say voice. A, a, and they heard a great voice from heaven. It says they heard a great voice from heaven. Read. Saying unto them, come up hither. Saying come up hither. Read. And they ascended up to the heavens in a cloud. How, how they say somebody was beamed up, beam me up, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It says we shall ascend up to where? Up to heaven in a cloud. Off of this earth in a cloud. Cloud is synonymous with chariot as you examine the Holy Scriptures. Yeah, in the cloud. You understand what I'm saying? So now, what must you do, bro? What must you do? Follow the, follow the, huh? the law, follow the law. Follow the laws of God so, so that you can be a part of the rapture of the Israelites and keep the commandments. You understand? So that's what you must do, brother. You understand what I'm saying? So the chariots, those are the angels of God. Those are the vehicles of God. You understand? Let me ask you this. Peep this. Peep this. Okay. I was a quote unquote Christian. Right. I was attracted to the, the alien UFO phenomenon when I was young. They came to me when I was 16. When I really started, like I said, started asking preachers and stuff, it was way over their head. The stuff I was experiencing and talking about, they ain't had no answer. They would laugh it off. I say, God, I don't want you to know. It took me to study other religions. The, the common denominator to all major religions and, and deities and quote unquote gods, they was all black. So that's where I'm stuck at with, you know, that's why I don't say I'm an Israelite or I just say I'm black because Buddha was black, Krishna was black, Zeus was black, right. the, the, the Native Americans, the Aztecs and the Mayans prayed to the Old Mexicans, they was black on right. seven continents, they were praying to, to beings that came out of the heavens other than Jesus. That's the, the interesting part to me. They all saying the same thing, so it appears to me, now maybe Jesus just for the Israelites, but to me it seemed like... It ain't just about Jesus. It can't be because these people is on seven continents and they got the same message. But different deity that was also black. You understand what I'm saying? I'm but something. nobody knows that. It ain't just Jesus that got made white. All the shit that we ever taught, been, been taught about, they was black originally. And then over time, history whitewashed them out. And we right. thinking it's this, this, and that. But these was really niggas coming to different people on the planet saying basically the same right. thing, coming out of the sky. Right, right now, a lot of stuff that, that you quote it comes from YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You got different people on YouTube I'm, coming. No, no, I'm coming. I, I have heard like everything that you have said. I've, I've watched it on YouTube before. But it, I got but books. I wanna. I, I now, to, let's deal with the yeah, Bible. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let, let's, let's deal with it. Let's start with Genesis. Like you two, can look in verse seven. You can look in the Bhagavad Gita from India. You can look in the Quran. They yeah. they speaking to this same shit. No, that's that's books. not deep. I'm gonna show you what is deep in a second though. That's not deep that everybody on different continents with dark skin and dealing with different deities. That's not deep. I'm gonna show you what's deep. Let me just two in verse seven. Genesis chapter two. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The Most High God said he formed man, the first man, the first Adam. He said he was formed of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? It's Move brown. the grass I, I and get you a that. handful. I get that, bro. Okay. The reason why I'm going to these basic things is because these basic things, you don't have to search under rocks and trees. It was already recorded in our Bible, brother. Yeah, we I already have this you. understanding. I hear you. Read on. And breathe into his nostrils. Damn. The breath of life! It says that he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So now, let's deal with the first entity to be deified. The reason why everybody got the same, what, what looks like the same God, you know what I'm saying? Is because there was a man who was the first one to be deified. And his doctrine went throughout all the earth. That's also recorded in the Bible. Give me Genesis chapter 11, start at verse 1. You know what? Give me, give me Genesis uh, chapter 10 first. Give me, give me the last two verses. Genesis chapter 10, verse 31. These are the sons of Shem, huh? after their families, huh? after their tongues, huh? in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, Read. after their generations, in their nations. Huh? And by these were the nations divided in the earth. So we go on to the fact that around the time when the nations were first divided, right? Mm -hmm. Give me just chapter 11, read verse 1. 
and the whole earth was of one language. They say at this time period, the whole earth was of one language, mm -hmm. which means they had what? The same philosophies. They had the same beliefs. They had the same deities. We have to go into that. Read on. And of one speech. Uh -huh. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. Uh -huh. And they dwelt there. It says they found a plain in the land of That's modern day Iraq. Uh huh. That's modern day Iraq. Read on. And they say one to another, Go to, let us make brick uh -huh. and build them thorough, burn them thoroughly. Read on. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. Uh -huh. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. What tower was this? The Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel. Who was the king in this time period? Who was the king? Who was orchestrating this? Nimrod. Nimrod was. Give me Genesis chapter 10, start at verse 9. Nimrod orchestrated this. Nimrod was king. Read that. Genesis chapter 10, verse 9. Start at 8. Genesis chapter 10, verse 8. Listen to this, bro. And Cush begat Nimrod. Cush, who was Cush? Cush. African. Africans, right? What family? Uh, Ethiopians, modern day Ethiopians. They say Cush begat who? Cush begat Nimrod. Cush begat Nimrod. Read on. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. What did it say? He began to be a mighty one in the earth. Say, Nimrod began to be a mighty one in the earth. Read on. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Why did it say he was a mighty hunter before the Lord? Why did it say that? He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Because Nimrod was the first one to be deified as God. Nimrod was the mighty one at that time period. He had a spirit that drew men together. He was the first one to be deified. So when God split the languages, what image, what man, what deity did they have in mind? The same black man, Nimrod. You understand what I'm saying? Today, this image of Christ ain't nothing but a whitewashed Nimrod. That's all it is. The Messiah, who was the savior of the Torah tribes of Israel, has nothing to do with this man. Has nothing to do with paganism. Bring it out! Has to do with Christmas. Right. Has nothing to do with Nimrod. You understand? He was the first one to be de deified. So now when you read in Genesis 11, when God scattered the nations, they had already had the understanding whether they speak the same language or they went to a different land does not matter. Because they have already been hunted by Nimrod. Right. Nimrod was the first deity. You understand what I'm saying? So brother, like I said earlier, with this great understanding, what must you do? Follow the commandment. Give me 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. So get up. When, when, real quick, when was Nimrod supposed to be around? And then what was going on before Nimrod? Well, well, first of all, you had the iniquity that was taking place before the flood. You understand what I'm saying? Nimrod, the reason why the tower was being built in the first place because they wanted to fight against the Most High God and set up judges on his throne. That was the whole reason for them building the tower. They wasn't trying to build a tower to say hey to the Most High God. They trying to get up the same thing they're doing now, trying to get up there. Exactly. Read 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Verse 46. If they sin against thee. The Bible says if they, if they are just going to the poor child. Can I get through? It says if Excuse they me. sin Can I get against through you, thing? Father. Read. I was going right. Read. For there is no man that sinneth not. Because there is no man that sinneth not. Can't shake hands, brother. It's a security purpose. They on security right now. Read that again. And thou be angry with them. <laughs> security. And deliver my head. them to the but enemy. Bro. No, 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 but you downgrade. You got downgrade me. These brothers on security, bro. But, but, but they the white one. Say it again. Last time we walked by here, you downgraded him because he was the white woman and said that his kids were going to be white. That was over there. Brother Judy, did you see the confusion? Yeah, I'm saying, brother. Deuteronomy, chapter 7. Let's see who has a problem with you, brother. Verse 3. Let's see who has a problem with you. Read this. God say? Not, not the brothers in purple, but what did God say? Neither shall thou make marriages with them! You are the greatest they thing God, God ever created. God, you understand that, brother? God created you to be a holy priest, brother. God said all God created you to be a holy priest, brother. Brother, do you understand that? Do you know God created you to be a holy priest? 
I'm you white God and I'm still going to heaven. Priest, brother? And I'll see you I'll when you, you know go to heaven. God created you to be a Let holy priest. Let me say this on every hand real quick. Look what God said to his holy priest. Read it again. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. My white was. friends get mad when I talk about that. I don't that. care what color he was. Jesus been white See, and them, I don't them care what color he time. was. Jesus I don't land land make marriages with them. Brother, we are reading the Holy Bible. This is not our opinion. We do not care about their personal opinion. It says all of God's children. Because we are reading the Holy Bible, brother. This truth was not meant for everybody to get along. We are not out here to, to walk on eggshells. We're going to read what this Bible says. You want to say, bro? Hold on. It doesn't matter. It says all. He was a Jew. Yes, he was a Jew. It says he was a Jew. Brother, it was out of love, brother. You understand? Because God says, Neither shall thou make marriages with them. You have a holy seed in your loins, brother. Give me that in Sirach 26 and verse 20. Yep. The Bible deals with race, brother. Jewish, you understand that, right? The Bible deals with race, bro. So it's nothing against you personally, brother. We out here to teach you, brother. my wife, though, man. We understand that. I'm going to make sure over there, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Good talk, man. I mean, this is my second wife, man. Right. And it, it, it kind of hurt my feelings because it's like... Right. Brother, we would rather you have your feelings hurt now than have your soul hurt later. That's right! Give me Sirach 26 verse 20. Listen to this, bro. Read this. Sirach chapter 26 verse 20! When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession... Where's your fruit? A fruitful possession. It's all about... I want you a mother. I want you a mother to church. You got here with the white woman. Hold up. They say the white woman. All his children are going to go to heaven if they accept him into their heart. No matter their calling. We just read what God says. Listen to what God, what God says, bro. Read this again. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession. So the Bible is saying, what's your name, bro? Man, Tony, man. Tony Booch. You die. You. So the Bible says, I can't shake your hand for scripture. But the Bible says, when you have gotten a fruitful possession, come out a woman. Read. Through all the field. Through all the earth. Read. Sow it with thy own seed. I have children with that woman. Read on. Trusting in the goodness of Brother, it said trust in the goodness of thy stock. We'll deal with that in one second. Read on. Trusting in the goodness of thy stock. So the Bible says trust in the goodness of your stock. A lot of our people, they mix because they don't John know John 3, 1, New King James Version. Hold on, 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 hold on. Wait, wait. And then my right. own woman so told me, race. call me a nigga now before. She didn't even call me a nigga. Of course, she, 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 she called you a nigga, bro. She's not your people. She oh, ain't that I love? She called me a nigga. It's all lust, bro. She got the black snake. Hold on, hold on. 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 Yo, you a nigga, yo. you a fool. I'm, 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 I'm a nigga. Hold up, but I'm gonna put that dick, get, get dick in her. Um, yeah, bro, too. Do you know that's my wife. That we are not to lie down with the animals of the field. They it doesn't matter. It says all Pharisees. of God's children will be accepted Pharisees. in the kingdom. Oh, the not just the black man. There was a man named Nicodemus through all the field. Read. So it was thy God said, sow it with your own seed. Have children with your own people. Read on. Trusting in the Stop. goodness Stop. of thy son. Read on. Sow thy race. God said, sow your race. Read. Which thou leavest uh -huh. shall be magnified. What do you do with a black man? When the black man puts down the white woman, the white woman is the whore and slime and everything else. Confidence in our good descent. We have the best genes on the planet. We want to buy a black man. You don't want to fuck you. And then we are slime. Like that. Where my glasses? Probably on the bus. Dealing with other nations, it's called boredom in the Holy Bible. Right. Boredom. She's talking about shooting the Bible. Boredom. Tobit, chapter four, verse twelve. Beware of all boredom. The Bible says, beware of all boredom. Even if you marry another nation, it is still boredom. They are going to heaven. And chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. The Bible says, take a wife of the seed of your fathers. Take a wife of the seed of your fathers. Read on. 
and take not a strange woman to wife. It said, and take not a strange woman. What makes a woman strange? Because she does not have your same father. Where? Who's That's the teacher? Who's strange. the teacher? Who is talking? Who's the teacher here? No, who's the teacher here? She wants John 316. No, no. I want to know where in the Bible. I want to know where in the Bible it says that you got to be black to get to heaven. What's that going to be black? That you gotta Give be black 21 to verse get 10. to heaven. That's a good question. Where does it say? Bring it out! Bring it out! Don't run. Don't run. Go to heaven. Stay because right there. Because in my Bible it says God. Revelation 21 verse 10. That all of God. your children, it doesn't say his black children. Brothers and sisters, y'all gonna learn that the kingdom of heaven is not so everybody. So fucking learn your Bible before you say. Y'all gonna learn today. Read that. Revelation chapter 21 verse 12. Bring it out! Verse 10. Read. And he carried me away. This is John the Revelator who was the black man. I want to hear black. I want to say that the black man is only. No, 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 I don't care. It says for anybody who accepts that his heart that is baptized by the Spirit in the water shall enter into heaven. I was baptized six years ago. Come on, 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 even like a jasper stone, I there is crystal. Learn your word. You better have me sign a paper releasing my pe face to be on that camera, or you gotta erase it. It had 12 gates. It had how many gates? It had 12 gates. Where's it say black? It don't say black. It don't say black. Where's it gonna say black? At the gates, 12 angels. It don't say black. Where's it say black? Written there on, read on. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel? The kingdom of heaven has twelve gates. We gotta be black to go to heaven. What color are the Israelites in the Bible? It don't matter. In the Bible, it says that if you accept Jesus Christ in your heart and is baptized of the water, that you will go to heaven. Learn your Bible before you try and preach it. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Y'all a bunch of retards is gonna go to hell for preaching the word. All colors, all hues, all hues. Do the morning and the gates thereof languish. Wait a minute. If it did not matter, why is it reported in the Holy Bible? It don't say that Jews are black. Show me in the Bible. Regardless of what my name is, show me in the Bible where it says Jews are black. Show me where okay. it, it says Jesus is black. I'm a born again child of God. No, I've been baptized in the name of Jesus. Show you, I, yeah, just like show me. Show me in the Bible that's where it says anything about a man that's being that's black. That's and then that's tell that's me that's why that's it said that God told the world One thing at a time. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, now you're done. Now read that. Chapter 14, verse 2! If you want to preach this preaching, you want to answer your question, or yes, stop. yes, uh, yes, yes. Tell, tell me, tell me. Okay, well, be tell quiet, me. brother. Tell we tell out here to teach. I'm listening. We're not out here to can, argue. You can't teach read me something. You read the Bible. The Bible is going to teach you. Read that. Okay. Judah mourneth, uh -huh. and the gates there of languish. It says that this, the tribe of Judah is in mourning. Mourning means that we are suffering. The, the Jewish people in Jerusalem are not suffering. Just stop it. Read on. That's not. They are black. They are what? Are you saying Judah? Are you saying Judah is black? What is it Is that what you're saying? You tell us what it means. I'm saying, are you saying Judah is black? I said you show me where it says the Jews are black. All is red. Jew is an abbreviation for Judah, bro. Right. No, you didn't no, no, notice? No, 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 no. Judah Jew is Judah. No, 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 no. Judah is for the tribe of Judah, which not. Jesus was king of the Jews. Sure about that? I'm positive. He came. He came. All right. He just made a statement. from Judah. Brother, no name. You just made a statement. Now, let's find out. Is that what that means? Acts 21, 37. The laws of the faith. Acts chapter 21, verse 13. So you said Jew just means Judah. Let's find out. Read this. Hey, hey, chapter 21. Just listen. Just listen. Read that. Hey, Acts chapter 21, verse 37. And as Paul was led into the castle, this brother is a scoffer. Read that. He said unto the chief captain, "May I speak unto thee?" Stop. So the subject matter is the apostle Paul. Read. You can't he said, can't you can't have me love, though. You can't have me love, though. And I, and I, I met you before you. And I, and I know you. Could he speak Greek? Greek? And I'm a blood. Are not, are not thou that Egyptian? 
somebody so asks the apostle Man, boy, Paul, stupid. are you an Egyptian? You right, we don't. Which before I'm these days, we verse 38 now. Verse 38, huh? are not thou that Egyptian? Next right verse. Verse 39. Yes, verse 39 so now, read on. But Paul said, huh? I am a man. He's married to a white woman with mixed babies. I'm going to have him come down here. He's a pastor of the church. He come down here and preach the actual gospel. The gospel that says the true word, the actual word of God. Not this fake stuff that says that you got to be black to go to heaven. You ain't nothing but a lie. Don't listen to this man. He, he, God said in the end of the days that they will preach the false gospel. What are they doing? They preaching that false gospel. They ain't knowing the truth. Y'all have God cast away his people. Read. God forbid. He said, God forbid. Certainly not. Read. For I also am an Israelite. Hey, brother. Paul said he's an Israelite. Read. Of the seed of Abraham. Read. Of the tribe of Benjamin. So why, if Paul is from the tribe of Benjamin, do he refer to himself as a Jew? That's right. Why? Because Jew, if you are from Judah, Benjamin, a Levi, you are classified. You are classified as a Jew. That's right. Also known as the Southern uh, the Bible. Yes. Never say you are learned if you don't know what Jew means. Teach. If you don't know what Judah means. Bring it out. So now, let's find out who salvation is for. John 4, 22. The Edomite woman thinks salvation is for everybody. That is incorrect. We go into the same book where you find John 3, 16 to find out who salvation is for. That's right. John 4, 22, read this. John chapter 4, verse 22. Understand, y'all hate is not for us. All we do is stand here boldly and read God's word. The problem is God's word is not being taught. Read John 4, 22. Ye worship. Ye know not what? The Bible says these other heathens and the Israelites, they worship God, but they know not what they worshiping. Read. We know what we worship. The brothers in purple, we know what we worship. Read. For salvation. For what? For salvation. Salvation itself, read. Is of the Jews. Salvation is of the Jews. That's right. We are those who God gave his laws to. That's right. We are those who dwelt in Jerusalem where God's tabernacle was set up. Right. We are those who were destroyed for breaking God's commandment. Bring it out! Who needs to be saved? Salvation needs to be saved. Who needs to be saved? Y'all need to be saved in the Holy Ghost. Because y'all got the word all wrong. Does the white man need to be saved? Let me lay hands on y'all so y'all can feel the Holy Ghost and the God. spirit that was in her forefathers. Right. Christ is coming to save us from our enemies. Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all that hate us. Her own husband says that she calls him a nigga. And he married to that trash. He married to that dog. Give me Jeremiah 30 and 16. Y'all gotta be kidding me. Y'all don't hate us. Y'all hate this Bible. The Bible has always been hated. Since he wants might to hit you. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16 Read that Therefore all day that devour thee Stop The Bible says God Almighty says All they who have devoured our people When will we devour? We will devour in slavery Right The transatlantic slave trade we were devoured We have been devoured here in America Right Read it from the top Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16 Read Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Be devoured. Right. Now that's justice, because America is not giving our people justice. That's right. right. They say we are racist. We do not burn crosses not in people's backyard. That's right. When have we hung their people? They hung our black. people. That's they are the real racists. We talking about Christians. Really? Some of the people back in the day that Jesus devoured me shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries 
God says all our adversaries, read. Every one of them. Every one of them, read. Shall go into captivity. Y'all are going to be put in shackles, chains, fetters, and collars. That's right. Read that part again. And all thine adversaries. Read. Every one of them. Every one of them down to the newborn infant. Can't even speak yet. Can't even say dada or mama. Read. Shall go into captivity. They're going to be going into captivity on the Messiah's second coming. Right. right. Read. And they that spoil thee. For example, it said they that spoil us. How did the 12 tribes get spoiled? We've been on this planet for thousands of years, brothers and sisters. Where is our gold? Where is our silver? Where is our accumulated wealth? Right. Look it out. We have been spoiled. We have been robbed. Read. Shall be a spoil. But it says they shall be a spoil. This is salvation. Shalom, this is, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.